Hey, how's it going guys? Just Miguel here. Just gonna explain how I did this haircut. So we got Lockie in the chair. He was gonna zip off all his hair with a number three. I thought it'd be cool if we just did a number six first. Um, seeing how it looked like and if he wanted to, we'd just go shorter. After checking out the number six, he actually liked it. So we ended up sticking with it. So just going over the top of the head a few times just to make sure I got all the little pieces. It's pretty hard actually to try and make sure that we got everything. So I do like to go over the top a fair few times. Anything that's longer than like a three or four, I tend to wet down and just go back over with the scissors just to make sure that I haven't missed any pieces. And I find a lot of people that have short hair wear caps and the hair is usually pushed down. So I feel like wetting it, breaking the mold, just lets me sort of set into place when I dry it. The phone rang, so I quickly cruised off. So basically when I do come back, I'll end up drying off the hair just to make sure I haven't missed any little pieces. As I said before, I do like to go over the top of, head, uh, top of the head a few times, just make sure that I've got all those pieces. So I'm going to just go on with the number two, set my first guideline just to make sure that everything looks good. I like to look in the mirror a lot, make sure that it looks even on both sides. So we're ending up going to be doing like a zero, just not like a skin fade. So here I am with the seniors doing like a zero open first, setting that guideline, making sure both sides are even. And then after that, I like to go on with the zero close and just scoop into the zero open. Not too close to the zero open, um, but just obviously enough that it looks all faded in. I purposely like to leave the bulk underneath it. Um, the only reason being is that I'm going to go through with the trimmers anyways. So it's a bit pointless and takes up time if I'm going to go on with the zero close and scoop it out. So lately I've been doing this thing, instead of using a one and a half, I've just been doing the one open and then the one close, just to sort of cut out a little bit of time and I've seen a lot of people on the internet do it, so here I am just trialing it out, seeing how it goes. So I actually just did the one open and one close and then here I am with the 0.5 close and just scooping into that one close. So definitely a lot quicker, um, you definitely have to sort of chip into the top a little bit more like as in like flicking out the clippers a little bit but it definitely looks nice so here I am just going back over with the zero like sort of half open half closed and then just using my scissors um, over comb just to take out some of that bulk and make sure that the blend looks really nice and neat someone ended up coming in so I had to talk to them real quick so I will end up zipping off that little bottom bit. Um, it's not going to look like a mullet at the back at the moment. Uh, so I'll go over with the barrettes and then basically take out most of that bulk. So here we go, just doing the hairline a little bit. So I definitely reckon the barrettes do go a little bit shorter than like the zero on the seniors. I've been switching between basically the barrettes and like the cordless detailers. We didn't want to box off the front so I've just gone into the front with the scissors just to finesse it a little bit. Don't like clients walking out with like an unfaded beard, even though we're not going to end up doing his beard just to save him a bit of time, we're just going to fade it back out. And we're just going to raise in the back of the neck, using a little bit of shaving gel just so it's a little bit easier on the skin. A little bit of product, even though he's got short hair. And then a hot towel finish. But now he's looking nice and fresh, but yeah, that's it. Thanks.